In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the original price of an item after a discount is received. Now, this discount is typically given in the form of a percentage. So let's work on this problem. John paid $320 for a laptop after receiving a 20% discount. What was the original price of the item, assuming that no sales tax was added? So how can we figure this out? Well, there's a formula that can help you to get the answer quickly. So let me write it out real quick. The new price is equal to one plus or minus R times the original price. The new price or the final price is basically the, the final amount that John paid for the laptop after the discount. So that's going to be $320. R, you can think of R as the interest rate or the discount. R is the percentage. So because we're dealing with a 20% discount, should we use the positive sign or the negative sign? Well, the discount is going to reduce the price. So we're going to use a negative sign. The new price is going to be less than the original price. So that's why we need to use negative R instead. If the percentage were to increase the price like a sales tax, we would use positive R. So since we're dealing with a discount, it's going to be 1 minus R. Now what is R? R is 20%. But you don't want to plug it in as a percentage. You want to plug it in as a decimal. So you need to know how to convert a percent into a decimal. Well, there's two things you can do. You could divide 20% by 100 and that will give you 0.20, or you could simply move the decimal two units to the left, which will still give you 0.20. So that's our R value. The original price, we don't know what it is, so we're gonna call it X. So one minus 0.20 is 0.80. So what this means is that after receiving a 20% discount, the new price is 80% of the original price. Now in order to calculate the original price, we need to divide both sides by 0.80. So the answer is going to be 320 divided by 0.80. Thus the original price of the laptop was $400. After he received a 20% discount, it went down to 320. And you could check your answer. You could find out, hey, what is 20% of 400? 10% of 400 is $40. You just need to move the decimal one unit to the left. So 20% of 400 is twice the value of 10%, which is 40. Twice the value of 40 is 80. So that's 20% of 400. So if you take off $80, this will give you the new price of the laptop after the discount, which is 320. And so that's a quick way that we could use to check our work. But the final answer for this problem, the original price is $400. Now let's work on a similar problem for the sake of practice. Lauren bought a car for $12,450. If she received a 17% discount, what was the original price of the vehicle? Well, let's use the same formula. The new price is equal to one plus or minus R times the original price. So the new price after the discount was applied is $12,450. So since we're dealing with a discount, we're gonna use a negative sign. Now, 17% as a decimal, if we divide 17 by 100, that's going to be 0.17. And the original price is what we're looking for. So we're going to call this X. 1 minus 0.17 is 0.83. So if you take off 17% uh, from 100%, then that means that the new price is 83% of the original price. But now to get the answer, we're going to divide both sides by 
12,450 divided by 0.83, and that's equal to 15,000. So this is the original price of the vehicle before the discount was applied. So now you know how to calculate it using this formula. So keep this in mind, the new price is equal to one plus or minus R times the original price.